Biochar has actually been a really huge one, um, you know, because it is carbon neutral and it's such an amazing soil amendment. That's that's definitely one that's that's huge. And I mean, and that's something that can be done uh, by your everyday farmer. <laughs> Hey everyone, I am hemp advocate Kate Curley. Today I am in New Woodstock, New York with Mr. Steve Halton at CNY Hemp Processing and I'm really, really excited to be here. I moved to New York State in uh, 2000. I've been running a farm business for about 10 years and uh, originally I wanted to get into growing the high grade textile grade fiber. Um, but going through that process, I you know, I, I realized that it was more important to help build the industry and build the infrastructure because really nobody was focusing on fiber at that time. There really is not much with the hemp fibers and, and textiles and the food and the grain and the seeds being done. And so those that are actually stepping up to the plate are literally having to create new technology that's never touched the planet. We were farming hemp back in, in the days before prohibition, but things have progress and change so much in, with our environment and humanity in general that really you're starting not essentially from scratch but there's just it's very nascent. It's needing all of these individuals to kind of put their own spin and their own brain and their own technology forward to have various options for the various crops and end use of it. We've been uh, doing research with a uh, non-mechanical decortication process. So, you know, decortication is to separate the uh, the fiber from from the herd in these uh, in these stalks. And um, because a, a typical decortication is a tough process with the with the CBD stalks. You know, if you're using a, a high grade textile fiber, it's a little different. They're easier to work with. Decorticator 101. Behind us, we've got a decorticator. Out there, you've got snow flurries and. Um, no sun and it's freezing, so don't mind uh, any shivering <laughs> teeth chatter. <laughs> yeah, teeth that. chatter that we've got going on here. This is our decorticator. Her name's Proud Mary because we never want this uh, wheel to stop turning. So what we do is we feed the uh, the hemp stalks through this machine. Uh, it'll it goes through some rollers to crimp the stalks, and then that'll break it apart so you can. Uh, so the, the herd can drop out through another another wheel that's inside the machine, and then uh, it separates the fiber from the herd, and the fiber goes out one end, and the herd goes out the other. Down here, we actually have some of the herd that's come fresh out of the machine. And on the other side, we have fiber that will clean and uh, get ready for the, uh, the fabric mill. Can you tell us a little bit about what this is and what's going to be done with it? Sure, yeah. So this is, uh, this is actually some of the CBD waste. Uh, this is some of the stalks. Um, a lot of this stuff is just sitting around rotting in fields. Um, oh, yeah. You know, or, or being composted or burned or, or whatever. So we've dedicated a couple of years on uh, research and development of different uses and new products that can be made with that waste. Very cool. And so can you give an example of... Um, something that maybe you've come close to that can be done with this? Biochar has actually been a really huge one, um, you know, because it is carbon neutral and it's such an amazing soil amendment. That's, that's definitely one that's, that's huge. And I mean, and that's something that can be done uh, by your everyday farmer. I mean, there's, there's actually a lot of uh, YouTube videos and things out there for people that can, uh, that can produce little, uh, little kilns to, to make biochar right on the farm. That's so cool. Very cool. When you make biochar out of uh, CBD stalks, you're actually burning it, but without oxygen. So what's happening is you create a small fire and uh, in, inside a, a kiln, and the, the fire heats up the, the hemp stalks, and it releases the gases inside of the, the stalks, and it, it burns those gases. So instead of using oxygen, it's actually using the gases that's inside the hemp. So it's almost creating like a, like a charcoal. Biochar is used for a soil amendment at this time. There are actually tons of uses that you can, uh, that you can use biochar for. Um, uh, we've done a little bit of work on adding it to masonry products to actually make the masonry products um, uh, carbon neutral. Uh, it also repels water better. So adding it to something like hempcrete uh, would actually create a, a carbon neutral product and then um, and obviously not wick moisture as well as a typical masonry product. That's really cool. Smells good. Yeah, I know. I love that.